Hey, orange one here. So uh, we're at this castle that we took, and these dudes are attacking it. Because they have such a numbers advantage, I think they're going against 83 troops. They've decided to attack it without any siege equipment. Um, it's kind of weird. Uh, I was playing around with this just to kind of see what our options are. We can actually go in and we'll lose 85 troops, but they don't have any siege equipment. So our numbers will be more than enough to hold on to this castle and take out 400 of them. And I think we're not going to lose that many people because we're in a castle. So I think, you know, that upfront loss of 60, although it looks bad, is not nearly as bad as it actually is, you know? Um, so we'll defend this place and we'll see. I think that most of this gameplay is going to... Most of this episode is going to be us trying to just, like, thwart the Vlandians. So we'll probably be just fighting them. Um... I'm a little bit nervous. There's a couple archers there kind of looking at me a little bit there. I'm kind of like way up though. So yeah, we'll just... Uh, it's got to be a little bit of a shooting fish in the barrel kind of gameplay. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how much I want to go for those archers or not. Um, these guys though, I might, I might be wanting to go for. Because they're going to be the ones actually inflicting casualties, right? If I can take them out, then we'll actually probably lose less people. Is that arrow? Oh my gosh, that's, that's kind of jarring, seeing it fly like that. Man, these archers are actually kind of railing on us kind of hard. God, I just can't get a kill though. I'm not really going for headshots, so I'm just going for body shots at this distance. I, mean, I could go for headshots, I just don't think I'm going to get them. I, mean, I could go for... Oh, no, that was kind of close. There we go, that's a headshot. Uh, let's go ahead and get more arrows. Oh, look, they're actually down here now. Um, let's see what we can do down there, then. Okay, I think that we're going to get a lot of headshots in this episode. <laughs> Time to get some experience, right? The game doesn't keep into account that these guys are still targets. I don't think it does, at least. In the old game, it used to tell you the difficulty of the shot. Like, it had, like, some multiplayer, multi multiplayers that had to determine, like, distance and, like, relative velocities and a couple other things to determine just how tricky of a shot it was that you just pulled off. You know, kind of an interesting little, little thing that they did there. I, I always liked that. I think the max score on that was like a little four. I think it was 14, right? Yeah, it was totally 14. I remember because I only got them a handful of times and it was just randomly like in sieges or like I think I was just like running around and I was just shooting arrows like across the map at the enemy while I was on my horse. Okay, we are actually losing some people more than I expected, but. I mean, we haven't lost that many people, right? And they'll be wounded at the end of all this. I think that some of them are starting to turn around after losing so many men. Yeah, they we're starting to get a retreat. Okay, let's just keep on hitting them until the, we get more retreating. Yeah, this is not the most riveting. Kind of funny. Oh man, I should have hit that. Here we go. I think that our character's also gotten pretty good at arching because they can hold the arrows for a real long time now. Yeah, are these guys? Oh, they're... Oh, someone just tried to shoot me there. Oh, jeez. They actually got me. So there's still ones of them that are fighting. Okay, I think that they've, they're fleeing now. Oh my god. Are you serious? I can't hit any of them. Can I get like any kills or... No. I'm just gonna go for a few pot shots. Are you kidding me? How did that miss? I feel like those were hits. Come on. Give me one.
<laughs> yeah, okay. I don't think it's gonna give me any. I tried. Um... Yeah, I would like to, um... Yeah, it looks like their routing is taking away from their actual number. Oh, look, their, their party number is going down. Huh. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let you guys go. It's gonna make my life a pain doing this. Because I'm gonna have to deal with all of your lords soon. But you'll drain all of the, um, the recruits from other, uh, places. Um, I don't know. I want to take some of these recruits to, you know, or prisoners to recruit them. But I don't know how many of them will join us. I'm going to go with... Are we getting to our troop limit? Yeah, we're getting kind of close. Let's just go ahead and upgrade some people a little bit more. And then we'll we'll probably just dump some units in the garrison. Slash hang out in the garrison myself. I think, yeah, we'll just hang out in the garrison, get our, our troops in better fighting shape, and then we'll see who comes by, right? And we've done nicely taking that place. Um, you know what we could do? Is I could... Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of you guys um, to give me your units. And then I'm going to have you actually um, join my party. Uh, no, that's that's not exactly what I want to do. I want to dismiss the army. How do I do that? Um, I think I need to go to, is it L for clan? And then this right here. Can I disband? Yeah, that sounds good to me. And then, is she in my party? I think she should be in my party, right? I could be wrong, but I think she's supposed to be either in my party or at my settlement or something, from what I just read there. I mean, I, I feel like she just disappeared, but... Um, oh, look, there she is. Take to party. Cool. Okay, so she just joined my party. And then what I wanted to do was create a new party and have it be led by, I think, Blag, because Blag isn't with me right now. Yeah, Blag was in some other random city. I don't think it's an enemy city, right? Please tell me Amethyst. Yeah, Amethyst is a legionary city, so that's okay. So he'll go get some troops and then I can summon him to come over to us. I'm just going to wait a little bit and see who comes close. Yeah, that 52 stack, they're they're running pretty slow. How fast am I right now? 3.7? Oh, night makes you go that much slower? Wow, that's... I didn't know that. Um, I think that we'll go for that then. I mean, our numbers are crazy advantageous. It'd be insane not to attack this guy right now. Um, still looking good, still looking good, and then yeah, we'll just crush you and then go back to our castle. Okay, yeah, he won't, he won't join me. Back at it then. You know, Rodan is, oh man, that, that really throw, threw me out there. No! Rodan, he's like this like super rich merchant, right? And then he got involved in war and he's been using his revenue from his private businesses to support this army. He used to be a mercenary, and he specializes in guerrilla warfare, you know? This character went from, like, happy-go-lucky merchant character that wasn't gonna be fighting to, like, full-on mercenary vassal real quick. But, like, I feel like Rodan is... he's doing this just so that he can... Oh, uh, man, you're, you're a tricky little boy, aren't you? Uh, he's doing this just so that he can secure a uh, better business um, land and assets, you know? 
<laughs> That's how, how I, I like to think of it, is that he's just, all he's doing right now is just so that his businesses can make more money. Um, are you guys, yeah, you're, it's hard to tell sometimes if they're my units or not. But I do like the look of the game more without the banners. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like Rodan, he, he's not a raider, you know, because he's fighting uh, the enemy nations, so I feel like he's probably got less of an issue with doing this than um, going after the villagers, though going after the, the recruits, I'm not so sure about. Personally, they joined an army to go kill my people, so I'm not gonna, I don't think it's, it's gonna, like, bother our character too much you know uh we are out moving kind of slowly because all these prisoners i do need to keep that in mind if we need to go quick we'll need to just dump all those guys yeah sure vlandian crossbowmen would be nice to counter their crossbowmen doing those sieges oh then why don't we bring you up you can come up hang out with the wife and i ace don't you make any jokes about that i know you're thinking about it um, let's go back to the castle. I think we want to just kind of be a little bit careful because I don't know how many forces there are really around here, like large forces. Thalmond, who are you? I don't recognize you. Do I know you? Yes, a uh, blow well struck. Yeah, you can go look at it right over there. Uh, I would like to give you money. Yes, I would like to give you a lot of money. Here's, um... 100k. Um, you're poor. And you shouldn't be. By five. I got five relationship for that. I just made you have an insane amount of money. You're like, eh, thanks, bud. Just wait just a little bit just to heal up. Um, hold on. Stop waiting. Leave. Our friend. What happened? Um, also, recruits. Uh, oh, you know what we could do is we could drop those guys in the um, the castle because uh, those special units can get upgraded through there. Yeah, this. Uh, oh, actually, they almost got bagged by that group over there. That would have been bad. Help, Thomond. I'm gonna charge in. Thomond, man, what are you doing yeah! over here? Take over command. I should have waited till the other stack got involved, and then I would have been able to get another 40 people, but instead we're just going to get 16. Whatever. Ho hopefully Thomond is able to use all that money to get some good units after he lost his entire army. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll, we'll... Oh, jeez, come on. There we go, there's one of them. Here's another one. Oh, the horse is down already. That was a weird, weird animation for him there. With the getting off the ground. Yeah, you're gonna go down real soon there, buddy. Oh, man. It's so weird how the AI, like, they can never finish a troop. Like, the archers seem to always miss, like, 20 or 30 times with, like, the last arrow. It's like, why? You know? <laughs> Honestly, why? Um, I got 4,000 gold, apparently. We're free to go. Oh, that dude apparently really hated me. Oh, thanks for all those units. Um, and I guess you could think of it as we just got paid by... What's his, his face? Our friend over there. Just gave us some troops. Got some borrowed troops there. Um, is that quest still active? I mean, I don't think it is. Let's uh let's just have a quick look. Train troops. Authority of Rotodan. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that, unfortunately. Uh but you may wanna not be holding this position. Just you know, a little a little uh, advice there. I don't think I can tell you to join my party, no. 
All right, well then, I'm gonna go over here, let my NPCs do their thing, and also um, get those prisoners to be my my troops. Oh, also, um, we need to get those guys in there. Sorry, just really quick, let's go to the garrison. Yeah, this is a little workaround in, ca in case you um, don't have the disciplinarian trait, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but like these guys, all of them, I'm going to give so the eight that can upgrade will upgrade. They get very little experience in here, but if they're already ready to upgrade, then this is a pretty good method to do so. Um, I might want to also just kind of check up near our villages to get some recruits from there. Possibly. I don't know. What are you doing? Oh, you're the dude that we're doing that quest for. Um, I mean, I kind of want to wait here. Just to improve relations with you. Ooh. Where are you going? I bet you're going to go siege my castle, huh? If I go inside of it, are you still going to siege it? Um... If you are, I think that I'm gonna just go inside of there now and wait for you to actually attack because last time that went pretty well for me. Um, I am going to manage the garrison. No, not the garrison. I'm going to go to the dungeon. Manage prisoners. Um, I want to recruit any prisoners that I can. Hold on. Is that just want to make sure that the numbers aren't getting all weird yeah okay so let's recruit these dudes and let's see manage prisoners I am going to get rid of my super elite troops because they're not gonna join me and I'm gonna get my trash prisoners in here because they're gonna be much more likely to join me I'll just wait here. If they want to besiege it, they can besiege it. Or they can keep on going. Because they saw that the castle actually has a good defense. They just passed by. Sweet. That was actually... Um, fine. Huh. I thought that we were going to have a, a big fight there. But they just didn't want didn't to push it there, I guess. Maybe I'll get rid of some of these... Um, larger groups of prisoners just to give us a little bit extra speed just to catch people yeah that's uh that's actually now we'll, we'll get rid of the trash trash um prisoners like that and that and that yeah, i'll keep you i'll keep you mostly because i'm interested in those units actually joining up with this if that dude's gonna just keep on going i'm gonna go up here to rotodan and defend that. But I kind of want to also keep an eye on him from across the river because if he turns around... Yeah, I don't think he's going to turn around. I think he's going to that other castle. Yeah, Lucand, you really, really, really picked the wrong village. That was... That was unfortunate. You done goofed. Nidonian... How are we doing right now? Ostacan and, and Jacqueline? Wait, oh, we have Jacqueline? What? Okay. Maybe I want to go to that city. That might be a better place to try and defend than this castle that I've got up here. Um, yep, yeah, I'm going to crush you, dude. I, I like the eye, though. Little scarred eye. Looking tough. Looking super tough. Sergeants, take command! Uh, another night battle. You know what I need is I need a mod where these guys are carrying torches, but then they're gonna not have one of their one-handed weapons, so maybe I don't want that. It would be nice to have something to help you guys be able to see this a little bit better. Not worth it. Not worth the <laughs> the time though for me personally. I just ha I have to say that. The attention to detail on this horse's armor is really nice. Like, it's beautiful. 
The attention to detail on a lot of the armor I, I really like, but in particular that scaling right there on the front, yeah, that's pretty cool. And the fact that it's also like not like an even scaling, like, like looks like handmade, looks really cool. I really like that. Is that the other dude? Yeah, I think you're the other dude, judging by the fire of the arrows. <laughs> right over their heads, right by their feet, <laughs> right in the middle. It's a Goldilocks zone, but like with murder. No, oh, I just hit one of my troops. Um, yeah, be nice to be able to take out the Lord there. I think we're gonna go for the peasants. I don't think we're gonna get. Oh, nope. We got we got a good opportunity there. Uh, just hit one of my guys. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's that one down. And I think it's just the peasants now, right? The footmen running. Oh, uh, there's some archers actually. Um, anyone else? No, not really. And they're chasing down a couple other fleeing units, but... I don't know. I don't see any. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna end it. Just let it kind of play out. I mean, does it actually play it out once you leave like this? I don't know. Um, I don't think it does. But I could be wrong. Yeah, you can go. You guys all hate me. But I'm making good by it by letting you go. I mean, all the peasants, I've... I mean, really, that's who we owe the apology to. And that's who we really were hurting in the first place. Uh, I'm on the hand. Oh, look, we got uh, someone... Is that me? Ready for something? Oh, look. Oh, we got another bow thing? Plus three to party size. Oh, that's dumb. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that just doesn't really impress me. Um, that is probably as high as our bow skill is going to get, though. I mean, I would like that one. That'd be really nice, but I'm going to need more control, and I don't think I'm going to invest in control. I mean, it is possible to actually get higher than the, the limit, is what I've heard. Um, Pavel is under attack. Uh, 71 troops. Okay, well, that dude's gonna get crushed. Trial by jury. Sure. Everybody else seems down with it. Let's go make some friends. Yay. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's go for Morcon. I think that... Oh! Uh, Morcon, you you may already have some... No, there's... That's just villagers. Yeah, you're gonna... You're gonna regret that. See, Tavil? I should get relation for doing this. But I'm not going to. They're gonna be like, Yo, you should've not had us be raided in the first place. God, that smile. <laughs> that animation, I think that animation in of itself is going to be meme-worthy. That's probably going to be what people latch onto is the faces. In charge. Yeah. I haven't seen like too much dialogue become memes, but I, I think people have been enjoying the faces quite a bit, you know? I'm just trying to look at my character's face as, as they're charging. Do they blink in this game? I'm just I'm just wondering. I know they don't talk when, you know, you're talking to the lords, which I'm fine with. I don't need lips moving or anything. Hello. Come here. Oh wow. How did I get around your shield there? And I hit him too? What? Man, I am I am a force to be reckoned with right now. There we go, the gallant as well on the leg. And that horse is down. 
I think I just killed three gallons, like, a couple seconds there. And did I hit them? I hit their leg, yeah. <laughs> I almost feel bad. Oh man, well, I can't brag now, not after anything like that. Yeah, good luck <laughs> trying to get that crossbow out. I liked how that crossbow fell, that was a solid, like the physics in this game, there's, they're legit, they totally are good. Like, not even just for like, uh, considering that it's the mountain blade. Oh. oh, I got him. There we go. Take that champion. I was surprised that that even did any damage. Got some blood on the sword. Yeah, you can kind of see that best there, huh? Oh, you can kind of see it there, too. Yeah, I've also been impressed by the blood splatters and how it... it appears on people when they get injured or when like I think if you hit an enemy there's a little splatter that can get on you as well I think yeah I think I'm just gonna end it here oh no it's actually not done apparently apparently we're fighting someone okay there we go I think there was like a cavalry or something. Um, oh, for a second I thought it was his mouth. I thought it was beard was his mouth and it was like way wide open mouth there. A little concerning. Oh look, we get some of those recruits. That's nice. Yeah, we'll get some of those tier 2 and 3 units. How are we doing prisoner-wise? Yeah, we've got tons of space. We've got tons of space to have these people join up with us. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about this train soldiers quest. It seems to me that I never can actually get these guys that to result with us winning. And it seems to say out of ten, which also is strange to me. Seeing how you know, if you're actually bringing them into fights, they're they're gonna get killed by things. Oh, chain bar. What do I have? Half scale barding. Do I have better than that? Really? Okay. Well, we got chain barding. I was just talking about how I liked my scale armor, but... Maybe I'll hold on to that scale armor. Because I... It's, uh... Yeah. We'll, we'll hold on to those. They're really good sets of armor. For the horse. Aren't you happy with me for, like, you know... Defending you? No? Uh, let's see. Man, we are, we're like deep in this war though. And we're actually able to hold a castle, like, pretty much by ourselves. Like, if I wanted to, I could go the way of, um, having our own kingdom. Honestly. Oh, my settlement has been a forest day or whatever. The settlement that I didn't even fight in to get. <laughs> okay. Fine by me. Yeah, I don't... It's unfortunate that you can't convince other people who are part of a clan to leave their clan. Like, their loyalty to their family is, uh... Follow inspiring. Your <laughs> but, uh... Frustrating. For sure. Oh, do we have the militia on our side now? We got the militia on our side. Sweet. Hello. Goodbye. Uh, if that is an archer firing... Oh! <laughs> you, you miss all the shots you don't take. Right. Um, I might want to, yeah, get out of there. Uh, I think I just hit one of my dudes. Pretty sure. <laughs> I 
Yeah, we're... I, I honestly probably should get on my feet and do some combat soon. Because our athletic skill is probably really low compared to our riding right now. I mean, our riding doesn't need, need to be any better, though, is the thing. Ah. Uh, come on. Okay, I think that that's good. Nice, five upgrades. That's pretty good. You know, enough of this and we'll have an elite fighting force. Yeah, I would like your guys' recruits to be with me, actually. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, we'll go get some more horsemen. It seems to be that the more horsemen I have, the better I've been doing. And the faster I am as well. Because I think that footmen, they can ride on horses. But correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they're as fast. Sure, I'll take that recruit. Um, and we did want to try waiting here to see if that improved relation with these dudes. Um, does not seem like it is. Okay. Uh, do I want to try going for him? Well, I think that we're at the half an hour point, so I'm going to end this having you guys with me. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.